there, fandom. This is DJ Sully D, and this is the Fandom Realm. Okay, I just wanted to get back with everyone. I know there hasn't been a video or podcast since the Picard video last week. I'm here to talk a little bit and real quickly about uh, the newest Picard. And of course, this episode's name is The End is the Beginning. And I'm not going to really keep you too long on this uh, reaction video. I've got to say, I have really enjoyed, especially... Uh, the last two episodes of Picard. Of course, I thought the first one was a really good introductory episode, but it was a little uh, light for me. But I think they've really turned it up a notch in the last two episodes. Of course, um, basically, this is the last episode where that we're probably going to see Picard on Earth as he's really started to put together his team, which started out with Ravi who was an acquaintance of Picard back when he tried to help uh, the Romulans evacuate Romulus. I also like the fact that we got to hear some things during this episode about why he resigned and his, how he left Starfleet. And that, I thought, was a very interesting type idea. Not something I would have thought uh, he would have done, but actually resigning from Starfleet uh, because of the whole Romulan issue. It's hard to sort of look at it because um, I know in the uh, show uh, they wanted to portray it as, you know, maybe something Jean-Luc Picard would never have done that. But I think he very much in a situation where potentially hundreds of millions, if not billions of lives would have been involved, would have told Starfleet, basically, it's either do this or I'm resigning. And so, you know, I think that could have been a true Picard action. So I really, I really like that part of this this episode now i'm not sure what we're going to see with the whole uh starship um that he is using um i'm not sure about the captain of that ship or the owner of that ship whatever we want to call him at this point in time we just don't know enough about him and of course there's not really anyone else at the moment i also um i thought the whole part of the episode with the Romulans attacking the Chateau and uh, the two Romulans who were staying with Picard uh, showing uh, their talents and helping protect him uh, was very interesting. Of course, um, as I said, I think in the last episode, uh, they really sort of started to show with their knowledge of things that, you know, they just weren't normal Romulan citizens. And I think that was pretty evident in this episode. Now, along with that, uh, you know, I'm not sure why you don't, if you're Picard, call Starfleet Command and say, hey, I just had people trying to assassinate me. Um, because, you know, I think uh, what's going to end up happening or, or something that probably should end up happening is uh, the Admiral that he talked to. And I'm sorry, and I do apologize because I cannot remember names on the show to save my life, but I'm going to try. But the Admiral, I don't think she was really in on it with Commander O, or sorry, Commodore O, getting her more involved, I think would have been very interesting. And knowing that Commodore O was part of it, you know, could have ended some of this pretty quick. But we'll have to see how this all goes. I'm very interested to see the next episode. I, st I didn't think there was a whole lot to this episode. It was basically trying to get Picard into space. And that was basically it. We did see that uh, the lieutenant who looks human is actually a Vulcan. She is the lover of Narek's character. And they're sort of having a secret relationship. And he is, of course, basically manipulating Soj. And uh, that's all very interesting in itself. Because what's going on with Dodge and Soji's mom? Uh, it's not the same person, is it? It's really confusing uh, so far. There's there's just something weird about that whole situation. And the way she found out about, or the way Soji found out about Dodge's death and all of that, and the mother not knowing, not having heard from her, and all that. That's just all real confusing right now, and they really need to do something to, I think, clear that up. Also, you know, I was very surprised uh, going back that 
uh, Commander O, or sorry, Commodore. I keep wanting to call her Commander. But Commodore O was talking to, I think it's Dr. Gerardi. And after she found out everything, she just sort of let her walk off and warn Picard. I'm not really... This is all sort of confusing right now to me. So, you know, we're going to see what's happening. Picard's in space now. And, of course, he uttered the classic uh, words when they got ready to leave, engage. So we're off, we're in space. And the only small thing I am wondering at this point is where is Riker and Troy coming in here? I sort of thought that he would be visiting them before he went to space. Are they not on Earth? Are they maybe on Beta Z? I don't know, it's just a question to be asked. But um, to end this podcast, everyone, I'm just gonna say um, I've started something new. So I'm only going to be able to do right now the Picard podcast, and then I'm going to do a movie podcast on the weekends. I know there's several movies starting to come out in the next few weeks, uh, along with Fantasy Island, which is one of my most anticipated movies of the year coming out soon. Harley Quinn, of course, coming out. I still want to see The Gentleman, and I want to try to do for all of those but I'm going to have to be out on 68 Whiskey for right now. I didn't do the last episode. Uh, the views on that video were way down. Um, I will just say, uh, you know, the last two episodes of that have gotten a little better. But uh, for now, I'm going to skip 68 Whiskey for the rest of uh, that series. I might jump back in when it's finished. All right, everyone, uh, this has been the Fandom Realm, and this is DJ Sully D. And before you uh, leave us, please smash that like button, comment on the video below, please subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so that you'll be notified of updates. And that's it for today. See you next time.